We move to the AFC Central. Cleveland and Jacksonville, who I believe with the way the schedules work, has three straight games at home. Mark Brunel, shovel pass to Stacey Mack. It pops in the air. Orpheus Roy gets it. Brunel hurt the shovel pass this time. Forget about it. Yeah, and the ball ended up on the ground. Brunel following the ball, and watch, watch the rookie Gerard Warren just come and level him. He would come back for a while, but would not play in the second half. Meanwhile, Tim Couch, the James Jackson stuff, he's hurt. Oh, that AFC Central, they all better bring the lumber, and they did in this game. Brunel's replacement, medicine man, Jonathan Quinn. Down 13 nothing at the half. Quinn to Jimmy Smith, 13 yards. So Smith gets his, you know what's coming next. Keenan McCardell, nine yards, 13-7, the Jags within six. Suey Brown's drive. Jamel White, tackled by T.J. Sergeant Slaughter. Bebo! Aaron Beasley recovers. Touchdown, 40 yards. The Jags in front, 14-13. Fourth quarter. Cleveland coming back. Tim Couch, Quincy Morgan. They're within field goal range. Phil Dawson will try a 30-yarder. Five minutes to go. Cleveland has the lead in Jacksonville, 16-14. Seven picks last week for Cleveland. Dalen McCutcheon steals this pass by Quinn. Touchdown! 32 yards. Butch Davis is two and one. Tom Coughlin is two and one. Different opinions on how it feels to be two and one. How about Cleveland? 0 and six last uh, lifetime against Jacksonville. Lost in the stadium, 48 nothing last year. They beat him for the first time ever, Tom. You can't help but see the change in attitude for the Browns. You have to credit Butch Davis for that. And let's remember that this Cleveland defense is waiting for their best player, Courtney Brown, to come back in a few weeks. Playing tough, tough, tough.